excuse me, what are we doing right now? She's not doing any news conference. You know why she's not doing it? Because she can't do a news conference. She doesn't know how to do a news conference. She's not smart enough to do a news conference. The show you've been waiting for. If this is your first time tuning into the Miguel Lopez show, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share so we can continue putting out content. As a friendly reminder, if you have any disagreement with my point of view or you want to express your opinion, please abide by the YouTube guidelines because they will flag your comments and I am not going to unflag it because I am not sure how that will affect my channel. YouTube police is out there, so keep that in mind when you're posting your comments. Where in the world is Carmen San... I mean, where in the world is Kamala Harris? For the past three weeks or so, I've been monitoring the news media, especially the fake news like CNN and MSNBC, since they are in the pockets of the Democratic Party. So I want to see if they put out any content or any possibility of Kamala Harris doing an interview. I have yet to see it. I also follow conservative channels, conservative news. I've been following everything, trying to see if I miss something, if she came out of the woodwork and put out an interview, if she came out and answered questions to any journalist, if she did anything that is not unscripted, that is not on one of her rally where she looks like a robot because it's the same and the same, the same every rally she goes. As you know, I was a prosecutor, attorney general in California. I was a senator. I was this and I was that. I want to bang assault rifle. Same thing over and over and over. But you know, I'm just curious, genuinely curious, when is she going to speak to the American public? Not just in the rally, like speak to you, answer questions, talk about her policies, talk about how she has failed with this administration and how she intends to improve and implement new ideas, new goals, new policy, how she is not just flip-flopping from what she has said in the past to say something now, as the media has seen it, that they've been kind of cleaning her records and giving it to the American people. And those who are too blind to see, those who have selective memories, have forgotten everything she has said, like open borders, she wants to ban all weapons, she wants universal health care for everybody. And if you check those countries that have universal health care, tell me how is it going there, the quality of care it will be useless. Think about it this way. If you are on Medicaid, when you go to see your doctor, do you think you are getting the best care of someone that comes with their own private insurance? No, you're not. And that's part of the reason why universal health care sucks because you won't get the necessary help you need at the quality that you need it. Now they're dealing with the government. The government is supposed to pay them, and that's not going to happen. And they won't be making also the money that they can make, which is a whole other conversation. But anyways, let's go back to the topic of where in the world is Kamala Harris. Like I said, for the past three plus weeks, I have been monitoring everything, trying to find any clue if I miss something of where she is, and she has yet to come. In the meantime, former President Donald Trump, J.D. Vance, they have been doing interview left and right. They have been answering questions, whether it's from friendly media or hostile media, friendly neighborhood, hostile neighborhood, it doesn't matter. They have been answering questions. They've been holding press conference. They have been talking about their policies. And those fake media outlets like CNN and MSNBC, they just go and start talking like, oh, he was Donald Trump with another rally, another press conference, talking to S, to Elon Musk on S, just blah, blah, blah for two hours. And I don't know how else to put this, but I would rather have someone talking to the press and talking answer questions, like you said, blah, blah, blah for two hours, that has someone that wants my vote, 
wants me to vote for them without even putting out a single policy, without talking to the press, without answering any questions. So this is how biased the news media is. They continue talking crap about the Republican Party, yet the Democratic Party, they have yet, like I said, to answer. Can somebody tell me what Kamala Harris is? Oh yeah, we know. She did an interview recently. Oh my God, how did I forget this? She did an interview. She answered some question, but it's not what you think. She answered questions to her VP nominee. They interviewed each other. A scripted. Look at the video. Just look at it. This is the only time you have seen her talking that is not in a rally. And it's still scripted and talking to her VP. In every one of those groups of thousands, sometimes over 10,000 people. So my husband, Doug, and I, I'm more of a hip hop girl. Yep. He's more of Depeche Mode. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, about the same oh, but, time. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah, you no, and no, you no. like of course. the same music. <laughs> okay. Even though you and I grew up in different parts of the country, you remind me of the people I grew up with. I'm not even going to comment on this video because I, I'm just not. It's pointless. It's useless. And I'm not a chip. I'm a person who thinks and makes his own decision, not influenced by the media or propaganda. But it is sad that so many people in America are blinded and will continue to vote for this person, whether she comes out and talk about her policies or not, or whether she does an interview, it doesn't matter what she does. She could just stay home and not answer a single question all the way till November 4th. And some of you guys are so ignorant, so inept, so unable to make up your own decision that you will still go and vote for her, for this party even though they have not said anything, they haven't done anything productive for you, you still will go and vote for them. Just let that sink in. And then you complain when we conservatives call you cheap. And that's what it is, you are cheap. You cannot make your own decisions. You are basing your decision based on what the media is telling you and feeding you. Even the person that's asking for your vote is not coming out when talking to you giving you the policies, telling you why the government administration has failed. Or they say, like, when I become president, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But you are in the current administration. You are the VP of the current administration. So any failure within this administration falls on you too. So you cannot tell me I'm going to do this when I become president when you are currently in office as the VP because we know the minute Joe Biden stepped down, I mean, he got pushed to the curve because he didn't step down. He got pushed, he got slapped, pa pa. you coming off. We're not holding any other primary. We're just gonna appoint Kamala and she's gonna be the running for the next Democratic presidential candidate. And that's what happened. It's been, like I said, over three weeks. She has yet to come out and talk to anyone. While we're on the topic of reporters, Kamala Harris had another scripted set of remarks before a teleprompter yesterday. And today marks 17 days where she has been the presumptive Democrat nominee and 17 days where she has refused to answer questions from the media. Plus, in certain cases, I see many of you in the room where I'm speaking to you on phones. I'm speaking to radio. I'm speaking to television. Uh, television's coming over here. Excuse me, what are we doing right now? She's not doing any news conference. You know why she's not doing it? Because she can't do a news conference. She doesn't know how to do a news conference. She's not smart enough to do a news conference. Believe that she's absolutely dodging questions. This whole campaign strategy is to put her out at events and, you know, link her up with pop stars. And so there are some people there with, with signs saying hotties for Harris and make it look like she's popular and she's young and, and there's a vibe about her. But she's not actually answering any questions. It's right. been nearly three weeks since she became the presumptive Democratic nominee. And she hasn't given a, a television interview and she was asked that today when do you think you're going to have time to actually sit down face some tough questions and she said oh at the the end of the month I'll, I'll make some time for it so in another three weeks okay so she can just keep avoiding questions and it, it's just it's absolutely ridiculous and it's frustrating that some people are falling for it are falling for the buzz how did she go from being an average vice president mm. to the new 
big thing in the space of a couple of weeks without actually facing uh, any tough questions or even explaining what her policies are. Why isn't she giving the sit-down interview to some agency, to some news agency? And um, we want to hear more about her policies. She, if you go to her website, there's nothing on there. Apparently, she's rolling out this economic policy today. People are curious about what she stands for, even though we know her voting record. But she hasn't sat down in 26 days. But you guys, just like Stephen A. Smith, and this is part of the reason why she doesn't speak. She doesn't feel the need that she has to answer any question because of people like this. And it is sad that someone with such a strong following can be so ignorant and speak in so turn. Like, he basically said, you don't need to come out and tell anything. I'm still voting for you. You got my vote. Fair is fair. Fair is fair to the independents out there. Fair is fair to conservatives and Republicans out there. There's certain things that we have to hold both sides to. Now, Joe Biden stepped down, stepped aside as the presumptive Democratic nominee on July 21st. Okay? Now, I'm going to look at this right now. I'm looking at my calendar because I just want to make sure. You know, July 21st was a Sunday. We've had one week, two weeks, three weeks, and one day since Joe Biden stepped aside. The only damn place we've seen Kamala Harris is at, is at pep rallies. What's up? Somebody got to say something. And it can't just be the conservatives. Right is right. I'm talking to my sister here. Come on now. You running for the presidency of the United States of America. You got my vote. You running for the presidency of the United States of America. What you hiding for? And I mean hiding in plain sight. Somebody got to say it. So when she hears that, why? If I am her, why would I waste my time talking to the American public? Why would I waste my time explaining policies when I already got your vote without even saying a single word to you, without speaking to you, without speaking to the press? No need to do all that when, obviously, I got your vote and you are too blinded to see that I'm not doing nothing for you, but you're still gonna give me my vote. It just, I cannot make this set up. So anyways, let me know what you think. What is your prediction of when Kamala Harris is finally gonna come out and talk to the world and talk to the press, talk to the media? Where in the hell is Kamala Harris? Because we don't know you know what it is until the next time I'm out.